First time working here. Say thank you. Oh, yes. I saw you breathe, Sophia. Fuck off, Arthur. You can just cut around me. Man has mastered the surface of the planet. Space. But we have mastery over time. Our perspective's different, and we sleep to maneuver. Sometimes because we're tired. When we take on a form, we absorb so much of its history. If you do that too many times, it can make you crazy or powerful. I've argued with the other one about that distinction. Fifty two apple, take Get me excommunicated, the Vikin Skin Megal. Forty-six Bravo, take one. Move in further, Robert. We can still see you. Good. Picking up in the prayer. Action. Pray for me and mine. Amen. Sparking wind. Doors creaking. Ambrosia.
You won't remember this, my sweetheart. Door? I heard a noise. It cannot be. Monster, destroy your virtue. You are no saint. Speak, go! It's not what it seems. Cat, check the gate and then let's turn around. <laughs> Thirty-six apple, take two. And action. Hold it. Intrigued. Enraptured. He's coming to the door. a dream I suppose I was there. Three apples, take three. Action! How does she look? Beautiful, perfect. All of the blessings of the feminine with none of the faults. Her purity is power. Her radiance. Her faultless complexion shows her as a weapon of God. Who's there? I'll leave Rosario. Enter, my son. I brought some flowers from the garden that I thought you would like. Your attentions charm me. You were impressive in church today, Father. I cannot take credit for the Lord when he speaks through me. But you enjoyed my discourse. Oh, yeah. 
I've never heard such eloquence. Well, save once. Who? When and who was this? Yourself, Father. When you preached after the passing of our late superior. Yes, I remember. You were present. You were not yet a novice then. I was there. But perhaps I wish that God had not led me there that day. I would have avoided some suffering. Suffering? At your age, Rosario. Yes. My heart yearns to tell, but I fear to lose you. What could be so terrible to sever my love for you? There's the bell for Vespers. We must go. Seek me out after confession. I cannot leave your mind so vexed. Two apple, take two. Okay, save again. Matilda. For the apple, take two. And action. As a friend, I see that you are upset by something. There is little that can be done about it. You are in love. I am not jealous. You are in love with Antonia Dalfa. Tonight you visited her mother and took the chance to speak with her privately. Together you read scripture. How could she know of this? Has she spoken of it? You do not know my full history. Before I joined the order, I was in the care of a guardian. He sought to educate me in all the arts, including those often disdained. Matilda. I had no cause to use these skills before. But love compelled me. I could not be with you myself. I still had a need to see you. This device allows me to see where I'm not. It shows its holder the object of their affection. A jest? No. Think on your love. Think on Antonia. Drolzinatius. And react.
The same magic that powers this lens can also grant you what you wish. How so? You remember the night that I was to die, when we took to St. Clair's sepulchre? That night... I... ...performed a rite. I summoned a fallen angel to aid me. What have you done? I admit I trembled before the act, but there was nothing to fear. The rite protected me, and the demon obeyed. I did not sell my soul to a master, but through my courage, purchased a slave. His power has shown you, Antonia. You can also put her in your arms. I will not employ his agency. As your mind so feeble, it falls to childish prejudices. How is it that I, a woman, have the strength to wield this power, but you do not? I will not be God's enemy. And are you his friend now? You have already broken your vows. You are bent on the seduction of an innocent. Do not reject my offer out of false piety if it is simply cowardice that restricts you. My cowardice may yet prevent my damnation. I yield. I must have her was at the cost. I will collect my tools and meet you by the crypt. Don't look so nervous. Scene 10B, take one. Twenty-one apple, take three. Flower is Rosario and action. Cut. was Lazarus dead. Jesus said, let not sleeping lie that which should walk. And Jesus kissed Lazarus' cheek. For in resurrection, our Lord shows us his love. Shows us the life everlasting and shall be the reward for the devout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I found the 20th century overwhelming. I ended up in London, swept there by the culture. I modeled. I hadn't thought much about movies, but when they told me Fisher wanted to see me, I watched his. It was amazing to me, because his movies are similar to how we see the world, the compression of time. I felt Fisher was an artist, and I helped to help, but he wasn't kind when we met. He wasn't interested in teaching me. He wanted to sculpt me. Movies were like a sexual mania to him. He told me what to eat. I thought I was seducing you. I thought I was seducing you. Scene 32A, take two. I don't have visitors very often. I mostly just sleep here. This is not what I was expecting of a cop's apartment. You running a racket on the side? I, I inherited it from my parents. They owned the chain of clothing stores, but they died when I was a teenager. So you're rich. <laughs> and you chose to be a cop. <laughs> Detective Goodman, you're more fucked up than I thought. <laughs> it's an original. Yeah, I know. It's me. You've had this all this time? Two years. <sighs> I thought I was seducing you. Have I ever been more to you than this? You're seeing me through Minsky's eyes. Oh, that's a, that's a coincidence. Who were you fucking two hours ago? I was fucking you. And who, and who do you think I am? Oh, huh, what am I? You're Franny. I don't even know your first name. You don't know who I am. You don't know anything about me. I know you. No, you don't. You want to know who I am? I'm the one who killed Minsky. I told him I was going to leave him. He told me I could only leave him when he said. Cut.
He has no idea what you are. He thinks you're his. Thirty-four B, take one. Action. Now you know what happened. Now you know who I am. You still like it? It's a little more complicated than her. It's complicated. Isn't this what you're looking for, a confession? Now you can close the case. No, I can't close the case. I'm touched. But your first name is Detective. It's Alan. That kind of part of me doesn't need to know everything Alan knows. You 
can do that? I think so. And Olga? Scene 4A, take three. Action on that round. Wander, but let the tide pull you into frame. Action. Someone here already knows you're dead. Bye. Not tonight. I'm a cop. Where's it? No one is going to care whether One asshole take seven. One more time. It's fucking freezing here. You're going to kill me. Action. We're done with this shot. No one is going to care whether or not I have briefs on. They're too busy looking at Marissa cavorting around. Who is the shot, Douglas? You lie there. I'll direct. We're done. We're going again. No. I think not. Never in my career have I been expected to work like this. You, sir? You're not a director. You're a fucking pervert with a camera. But I have an idea. My name is John Durick. I'm six foot three, 42 years old, and I will be auditioning for the role of Minsky. <laughs>
Scene 20E, take two. She holds the tube. You can't breathe. More panic. Release. Cut. Two-page photos. Scout for Frankie's apartment exterior, scene 16. This is his jacket. Feels nice. <clears throat> Goodman sits in the car watching the apartment, reading his book by flashlight, a biography of Caravaggio. Before the age of 25, the artist Caravaggio was sentenced to death for murder and fled Naples. He reads some more, turns the book on its side to take in a two-page photo spread. Caravaggio never painted a female nude, and his sexualization of young men has led many to diagnose him as a homosexual. Sighs, shuts the book, checks his rearview mirror, checks his side mirror, sighs, takes a sip from his coffee, then notices movement on the street, a figure with a long coat, heavy bag, the figure walks into the apartment. Goodman pours his coffee out the window, screws the lid on his thermos. He waits a beat. Sees the light turn on on the second floor. Santora's apartment. Quickly gets out of the car, jogs to the apartment, and cut. I'm going to seduce Carl Green. Team 3A, take one. All right, keep it loose, Marissa. This is gonna be fun. Action. The scene's been trashed. Violent good evidence destroyed. Would everyone below the rank of sergeant clear the hell out of here? Is that understood? I want no more than three cops in here. That's three living cops and a dead body. Unless there's more bodies, I mean. <clears throat> oh, I, uh, I wasn't. I'm sure you weren't. So this guy likes tits, huh? I read in the paper he was fucking his model. She's not even half his age. Genius doesn't age. Yeah. I bet she did it. It's always the girlfriend. Forensics. Sorry, detective. I bawled them out, but nobody listened. It was like a party when I got here. I even got a hold of someone who listened with the department.
husband. Well, the department made a pretty good mess all by itself. I spoke to the neighbor. The one who discovered the body. Mm -hmm. I... Guy with a girl's name, Allison. Uh, so Mr. Minsky was expected at a gallery event, but didn't show. So they rang and asked Allison to call in on him. Be friendly with the victim. Says he modeled for him. I thought Minsky only painted women. He's got a girl's name. Says he was booked to come around tomorrow at 2 o'clock, so he was expecting to be alive tomorrow. That clue. He wasn't expecting to be murdered. Good work. Dead, naked celebrity, Paul Goodman. There's a missing penis, too. You're Mr. Sex Murder. It didn't bleed much. I figure the penis was cut off after the heart had stopped beating. The real cause of death was asphyxia. Given the nakedness and penis disfigurement, I say sexual asphyxia. see anything to do with the asphyxing. He didn't choke himself. There's external signs of hypoxia that he wasn't smothered or strangled. No defense marks, no bruises, I'm guessing mask or gag. They took the murder weapon away. I always do. Deviant psychology. Indeed. Well, I'd better head off. Already? Allison said Minsky's expected at a gallery show. It's a perfect chance to canvas the suspects. I'll come back after. I'll be here. Be subtle, have ten uncles for bare witness. Blood, semen, hair, tissue, spittle, urine, feces on it. There's a reason they invented a mnemonic for that. Uh, make sure you enter that book you picked up in the ledger. Of course. I missed the protocol. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not break chain of evidence. Homicide, Homicide investigation, investigation is, is a sacred, sacred mission from God. God. We speak for the dead who have no voice. Shut! Looks fucking great from down here. <laughs> Should we do one more for fun? I could do this all day. <laughs> Imagination was lesser than I thought. It wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. old and I will be auditioning for the role of Minsky. breathing. 
see the feet of a naked man up his legs, a woman. She rocks on top of him, her hands on his chest, to his face. His hands are tied off screen. His face is covered in plaster with a breathing tube. We sit on this strange face a while. Above this, we see our titles. <laughs> Mr. Director, are you sure you want this naked? Of course. Run it. Let me tell you, there's nothing erotic about a naked man. You think? Male body looks best clothed. Well, the female, it's another matter entirely. I disagree. I made a lot of movies, John. So I have some experience here. We're making a different time of movie. <laughs> it's always shock value at first, and things settle down. Seen a few new waves in my time. Is it true you never posed for paint? No, never. Ah, oh, you are a natural. Just don't kill me like you do the artist in this movie. You'll have to cut that out. Oh, is that a twist? No, I like to keep things ambiguous. Speak of the devil, the artist himself has arrived. Good to see you, John. Yes. Hello, everybody. Thought I'd drop in to... Take a look at my handiwork. You know, I have played an artist twice before. So I'm already pretty damn good at pretending how to be. Oh, no, 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 no. I prefer the illusion. Douglas. Enchanted. You know, I will take advantage of you being frozen in place to steal a kiss. Picasso once before. It's very short and rude. He did do me a sketch on a napkin. I'm just waiting for him to die, so it'll be worth something. You don't care for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not a fan of cubism. It just seems inherently wrong to take a beautiful woman and turn her into a bunch of triangles. Got that from your documentary? I don't want to be dismissed as a cultural heathen. You know, John, I was thinking, I'd like to make a few requests. Mm. Since this film named after you, I feel like we should make Minsky a little more sympathetic. Figurement. 
I say so. This. Figurement. I say sexual asphyx. Scene 23E, take one. Action. Cut. C, take three. And action on background. Action. I don't see Olga. What are you drinking? Did they have a 12 year old McCallan? Never mind, I'll pick. Two Ferraris, please. And have you seen that Russian girl? A room full of your deviance. Minsky knew you had to become the thing you were trying to understand. Also, art is an intellectual exercise. It requires distance. You still think art is about ideas. Says Olga's been in here every night this week. She usually comes in around nine, so we've got some time to kill. I've got something to help it go down. Inspiration. <laughs> Cut. That was real coke. Let's go again. <laughs> Carl, keep it simple. Until he hits the coke and montage, keep your butt up. Reset on the drinks. Also, art is an intellectual. After I killed the other one, I told John everything. He disappointed me. John liked the mystery. He didn't like there being an answer. And that the answer was that I was bigger than him, he didn't like. The other one, I pushed me to the edge, so I didn't so much snap, I just keep moving. I had never felt so connected, and I wasn't ready to let it go. I consumed him efficiently. I had enough time to think what it meant to lose Marissa. I get your reputation. Fifty eight Bravo, take four. And action. Let it be recorded that we resume the trial of Father Ambrosio. Do you confess? I cannot confess to what I've not done. Matilda has confessed to many crimes, including sorcery. 
We have searched your cell and found several ornaments of magic. This glass is inscribed with glyphs not of our alphabet. Sorcery! Sorcery! The city talks of you, father. How you bewitched the whole of Madrid. Will you confess? My reputation is destroyed. Forget your reputation, Ambrosio. Your soul is in the balance. My soul is ready for my god. If you go to your death unconfessed, your soul will descend straight to hell. We shall now put you to the question. This will be a taste of the fires waiting for you in hell. Hell's fire does not burn, but freezes. That may be. But few have complained that our earthly fire is too comfortable. Will you confess? I cannot confess. Ah! Cut! I really do think torture is my forte. John? Where's John? This is a screen test for Minsky. When I call up your name, just tell us about yourself, and we will see if the camera loves you. Susie? Hi, I'm Susie. I am a wholesome country girl who came to New York City to make it big. However, I fell in with a bunch of degenerate artists and shucksters. They told me I was going to be a star, but they only play my pictures at Times Square movie theaters. Don't give me that look, Drella. I think this could be my big break. I intend to steal the movie. Eddie? I'm Eddie, and I'm told I'm photogenic on account of my big brown eyes. I'm excited to meet Douglas Simons. Seeing him in a loincloth fighting gladiators was a big artistic influence on me growing up. And I'm Debbie. <laughs> you didn't wait your turn. I thought you were done. You're, you're done. Debbie, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm from a very well-to-do family back in France. Was it part of the Ancien Regime? Oh, my family has won the social social after the guillotine is finished. Right, d'accord. I moved to New York City with my brother after I was kicked out of school for trying to put on a play about the Jesus fucking Mary Magdalene. I make a lot of religious art, mostly centered on the body. I figure if God is anywhere, he isn't here. Is this a religious movie? No, that was the last one. Where you played the devil. Where I played the devil. Oh, <laughs> now that is a hell I can get behind. I think you're all wonderful. John is going to love you. Breathe on the Do you still have a call? I... Oh, Scene 22B, take one. Action. You really? Well, someone didn't waste too much time. Minsky's body is still warm. Oh, sorry. We're the wrong way around. Right, keep rolling from the top.
Really? Well, someone didn't waste too much time. Minsky's body is still warm. You look different, detective. Did you lose your virginity? Detective Goodman thinks that Minsky's ex is in town. Olga Rachnoff? And here's me thinking this is a social call. Is he still a cop? I think so. Have you seen Olga? I saw her at the Minsky show. She was wearing some special earrings, Minsky originals. She's Minsky's type. Eastern European beauty queens with nice tits. No offense, Franny. I think I've seen her around. Uh, I've seen her in 88. She sits at the bar and eyeballs everyone coming in. 88. Oh, you're gonna like this. Ah, oh, that line. 88. Oh. Is it me or is it the line? Club 88, but what's an 88? Do we need it? How did I see it in the reads? We can just pick this up in the close-up, right, John? Yeah. Marissa, cut. Scene 44A, take two. themselves to immortality. Somebody like parasites. Years old and I will be auditioning. for the bar for the next hour. Do you love it? It's my natural color. I like it. There's a chain. It's very visible if you sat outside a thing. Arthur Fisher and John Durick were on that chain. Ideas, traditions, technique, organic matter gets passed along. Fisher passed me on to Durick, or Durick took me, or I chose to go, it's hard to say. They both wanted to claim me as theirs. There's a life cycle to an artist. It's very important to get the timing right, to prove it, to use one to fertilize another. But John, it was the first time I put myself into the chain. I love it. Too much hair is like you're dragging your past around with you. When I look at someone, I like to see their skull. It's fucking weird. You're weird. 
I will now interview the hot new director, John Durek. Hi. John, what is your process? How do you visualize a movie before you shoot it? Mm, trying to visualize less, actually. I want to set up the ideas and characters and then shoot them like a documentary. I want to capture something alive, you know? Now we can shoot on location, we can shoot for here. You sleep with all your actresses? As a rule, yes. An artist should be familiar with his material. Well, then you should fuck Carl, too. <laughs> Otherwise, you're as bad as Minsky. We all know what happens to Minsky. Okay. Enough with the camera. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> you know why they call him Drella? Hmm. Dracula and Cinderella. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> Keep going. We're filming this? Just for us. Action. Interior, interview room, day. Goodman points behind him at the photocopy. Frankie Santora. Billy Banner in the chair. I know uh, Frank Santini, Freddie Sendosa, Frank Scarlucci, but no Frankie Santora. You think this Frankie killed Minsky? They say he took Minsky's dick, probably grinding it into a powder and storing it for inspiration. Beat. Goodman lets him stew. You ever want to make more photos, Goodman? I'm here for you. I got some artistic ideas we could try out. Uh, you said earlier you only photograph people you want to fuck. Uh, everything is sex, sir. You're in this room, I fucking assault because you're too buttoned up to just come out and fuck us. The shit you see, the things you must want to do to people, and you've got a gun. I just got a camera. Door open. Walker. Found him. It was a pleasure. Uh, the camera loves you, Carl. <laughs> Keep going. I'll be Walker. Interior, station corridor, Goodman, Walker, walk and talk. There was a robbery there last year, so we pulled the names of the tenants. Your name rang a bell for me, so I dug out the file. Frankie Santora is on the list. I spoke to the janitor. Says Frankie's a tough guy, uses it as a fuck pad. Hands Goodman an address and a piece of paper. They stop at a junction. Sure you don't want me to ride along? Uh, uh but turns into, I I'm just gonna snoop around. But turns into Bonnie and Clyde will call you. Walker leaves, shaking his head. Goodman scans address again. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Have you ever said fuck on screen before? I, I don't think I have, no. It shows. Give me that line again. Uh, you said you said earlier you only photograph people you want to fuck. You said you said earlier you only photograph people you want to fuck. <laughs> fuck. Just the word. Fuck. 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 Fuck, you said earlier you only photograph people you want to fuck. 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 Fuck the fuck. 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 Oh. Oh, you learned that you. Fuck. Fuck. Huff. 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 Huff.
Scene 39, Bravo, take one. Action. Got two of everything, two hands, two eyes. Got two of everything, two too much of everything. That's enough. Uh, we'll drop the lights, and then she'll sing happy birthday. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Hessenberg. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Mr. Hessenberg, for all the things you've done, the billions you've won, the fee you paid me here. Now we snail it the not we snail the door um Mr President the late Marilyn Monroe Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Mr. President. For all the things you've done, the battles that you won, the way you deal with U.S. Steel and our problems by the ton, we thank you so much. Everybody, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. President, happy birthday to you. Mr. Hessenberg, for all the things you've done, the billions you've won, the fee you paid me, honey, I hope I gave you value for money. We thank you so much. Everybody, happy birthday. Maria, I thought you were resting. Well, I've never missed a rehearsal. You don't get to where I am without a work ethic. Andrew would approve of the Monroe impression. He's a sucker for memorabilia. I tried to buy him that dress once. It was so sheer, people thought she was naked. <laughs> of course, Jackie wasn't there. She was on an outing with the kids while Marilyn fucked Kennedy one last time from the stage. Do you think Jackie knew? The wife always knows. 
Wish to get you into fitting. Why don't you come with me? You sure they don't need me here? Oh, it's fine. They'll follow your lead tonight. Oh. Run two of us again. Make sure they've got the transition. Yes, ma'am. Cut. <laughs>